This is a quick demo to show the recovery of information from a hard drive that has either been lost or perhaps deliberately deleted. In this case, we're looking at a camera photo card that has the drive letter of F and the name of file carve. And on the left-hand side of the screen here, you can see there are no pictures on this disk. There's one folder called System Volume Information, but there are no pictures in there. We need to take a closer look at this disk and we'll use a tool called a hex editor to do that. On the right hand side of the screen, I've got a tool called HXD, which is a hex editor open. So what I need to do now is open that disk and take a close look at it. So go extras and open disk and we'll select drive letter F. There we have the disk surface. Now it should be mentioned right now I'm working from an image of the actual disk. And I've got that mounted as a drive, drive letter F. If you were doing forensics for real, you would not be using the original device because you'd want to preserve any evidence. So you would work for an, an image copy like this one. Now we're looking for a JPEG picture, JPG file. They have headers and footers. It tells you where the file begins and where it ends. We're looking for a hexadecimal value. FFD8 is the hexadecimal header of a JPEG file. So we're going to search the disk surface for any instances of that header. So let's do a search, find, type in FFD8. We're looking for a hex value. So hit OK. And it's found one. It's found one at position 26000. That's the offset into a file or a disk or memory where something exists. We need to remember that number. We now need to find the end of a file. The end of a JPG file ends in FFD9. So let's go and find that. Change this to be a nine, hit OK, and it's now found the end of a file. Now this has a different position. Obviously it's further on in the disk and the value here is 4B93 and four. That's the bit that's highlighted in line with the number of four at the top there. All we need to do now is select that block of text, if you like. It's a bit like copying the information from a Word document. So if we go to edit and select block, we wanted to start at 26,000, if you remember. So type that in. Our end point is already selected because that's where we are in the file already. It's 4B934. And if we hit OK, the block of text we want is highlighted. All we have to do now is copy that. We'll open a new blank file to paste it into. Just do a control V and that pastes the file information in. Now it's red at the moment because we haven't saved it. And that's just warning us that if we close this window, we'd lose the information. So we now need to save this as a picture file. Do a file save as and we're going to put that in the media library drive and we're going to call it recovered2. And just to show you, there is no recovered2 already there. So we'll hit save. And now we'll go and take a look at the 250 media drive. And we can see a recovered, which is already there, but there's a recovered too, one we just created. Now this doesn't have a file extension because we didn't give it one when we saved the file. So we can just change its name and give it an extension, .jpg. And if we double click on it, the picture comes up. It's that easy to recover information that has been deleted or removed from a drive. And I hope this has inspired you in a world of digital forensics and data recovery. Thanks for watching.